Throughout JoJo, we are introduced to a lot of stand users, specifically around 155 as of JoJolian Chapter 60. So one would think that the question, what is a stand user, would be pretty simple to answer, but it's not. And it's not simple pretty much because of the alternate universe. Hello everyone, Xfords here, and welcome to what is a stand user. Well obviously, to be a stand user, one must possess a stand. There are multiple ways to acquire a stand throughout the series that we've learned about. The first one that we were introduced to is by inheriting a stand. As when Dio acquired his stand, he gave the blood relatives of Jonathan Joestar a stand as well, but it is not guaranteed for a stand to be inherited as Josuke did inherit a stand from his father Joseph, but Jolene did not inherit a stand from her father Jotaro. The next way to acquire a stand is with the arrows, a very simple method as anyone who is stabbed by the arrow and worthy to possess a stand will acquire one. So far in JoJo, the arrows have been the primary way to create stand users. And also later in part 6 we see that there are some stands that can grant people stands, like White Snake with its disc ability. But then when we get to the alternate universe parts 7 and 8, things get a bit bizarre, no pun intended. So in Steel Ball Run, stands can be acquired by surviving an encounter with the Devil's Palm, but it's not guaranteed to grant a stand, and also by possessing a corpse part can grant a stand as well. So that's the general basic of how to get a stand in Part 7, but it's still very vague. Now on to Part 8. Although it takes place in the Steel Ball Run universe, it introduces a new method of acquiring a stand. So stands can still be inherited, as we've seen with the Higashikata family, as some members are just naturally born with their stands, and they don't need to go through any other process to attaining it. But other stand users in the part have mysterious bite marks located on their body that seem to have been caused by the walleyes in the cases of Josuke, Joshu, and Yasuo. And the bite mark seems to be the prevailing theory on how these people acquired their stands, and it seemed to be caused just by hanging out around the walleyes, as the walleyes do induce a stand it seems. So that is just a very basic look at how stands are created in JoJo, but today we are going to mainly focus on who or what can actually be a stand user. When we are first introduced to stands, we are led to believe that a stand is the physical manifestation of one's fighting spirit, and that one must have a strong will and mental strength to possess a stand. As Holly Kujo was unable to control her stand because of her gentle and non-violent nature, which caused her stand to slowly kill her by just consuming her life force. This concept of who could have a stand and who could not was established very early on in this series, just after the first couple stands were introduced. But as the series continues, the concept of having a strong will and mental strength to possess a stand can become a bit hard to believe as there have been a handful of stand users who seem to have no will of their own or even a violent or determined nature at all. There have also been a handful of animal stand users such as an orangutan, dog, bird, rat, cat, and even a turtle. We have also seen that a stand does not need a user such as Notorious B.I.G., which is a stand that is, uh, it, in order for it to function, its user needs to die. But without a doubt, the most questionable stand stand users lie within the alternate universe, with the most questionable stands being Ball Breaker, Sugar Mountain, and Le Fay. Just excuse my pronunciation, my French is horrible. Up until the alternate universe, stand users have always been living beings, whether it be humans or animals, but in Steel Ball Run, we are introduced to stand users that take the form of objects, places, and even the extent of intangible ideas and techniques. The first questionable stand is Ball Breaker. So who is Ball Breaker's stand user? Most people will say Gyro Zeppeli because that's what the wiki says. But anyone who is able to read images and look at something analytically can come to the conclusion that Ball Breaker is not Gyro Zeppeli's stand, but rather the stand of the technique that is the spin itself. Ball Breaker is stated to be a technique that causes a rotation to be increased to infinity by the inclusion of a further golden rectangle garnered from a horse running in the form of a golden rectangle. So stand user or not, Ball Breaker can be activated by using a sealed throwing technique of the steel balls. So although Gyro does use the stand that is Ball Breaker, he isn't the stand user Rather, the technique known as spin is the stand user. Every time we see Ball Breaker appear, it does not appear from Gyro, but rather it appears from the energy coming from the steel balls, which supports the theory that Ball Breaker is the spin stand, and the stand usually appears from the user. Thus explains why Ball Breaker appears from the steel balls. So if the concept of the spin can be a stand user, that means it's possible for other intangible ideas and techniques to be a stand user, such as something like Hamon from the original universe. And when we think about that and how the spin has developed a stand, something intangible, something that was created by humans, 
just opens up so many possibilities for so many different things to be stand users. And maybe that's an idea we'll see pursued in part 8 or maybe even a later part of JoJo, but for the time being, it doesn't look like we're going towards any of those ideas soon, because more stands like Ball Breaker could just get really abstract. The next stand user is Sugar Mountain, which is a bit more comprehensible as the stand user is a tree which is considered a living being, and we have seen plant stand and stands before in the form of stray cat, but Sugar Mountain is much simpler as it has no thought process or consciousness, and is more of the location itself being the stand user rather than the tree, which causes for another very questionable stand as really the location of Sugar Mountain and the spring around the tree, it's all pretty much considered the stand. And since the stand has no stand user but rather just a stand guardian, I guess the location would be the stand user as well. I have an entire video explaining Sugar Mountain if you guys want to see more about that, there will be a card linked in the top right. But yeah, Sugar Mountain is definitely a stand that has as a questionable stand user as it's pretty much just a place and not really a person. And speaking of a location being a stand user, we have Shakedown Road from Part 8, where simply a road in Morio has manifested the stand and it is now a stand user. So at this point in JoJo and in the alternate universe, really anything can be a stand user, unlike the original universe, which had very strict rules on who and who could not possess a stand. It could be interesting to see more of these types of stands appear in the series and introduce new concepts such as large locations like cities or towns possessing a stand or even a planet itself like earth where the series is located on having a stand and being a stand user that just popped in my head when i was thinking about the spin having a stand and that would be really cool so in the alternate universe pretty much anyone or anything can be a stand user and i would love to see more of these unconventional stands like locations or even just ideas like the spin having a stand and I think that there is so much possibility for great writing in there. And I think that more stands like this could really shake up the formula rather than having our protagonists fight people that have stands, rather maybe have them fighting locations that aren't directly working against them. Really similar to how Joshu and Josuke's uh, Shakedown Road arc was, but on a much larger scale. Okay guys, X-Force from the future here. So when I was editing this video, I totally forgot about Foo Fighters, which is another stand that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So Foo Fighters, very unconventional stand user. It's pretty much just evolved plankton or bacteria. So Pucci just randomly threw a stand disc and I briefly mentioned the stand disc, uh, how to attain a stand with a stand disc earlier in the video. So the stand white snake, it has these discs that you could put inside people and give them a stand. So what Pucci did is that he randomly threw a stand disc into uh, water and it hit a piece of plankton. And the piece of plankton became a stand user known as Foo Fighters. So, Alright, so back onto the question, what is a stand user? I guess let's also add that plankton can be a stand user because why not? Okay, I'm done. So the simple question, what is a stand user? When it comes to the original universe, I guess it can be considered anyone who has a strong will or determination and has gone through the methods that I mentioned earlier to become a stand user. But when it comes to the alternate universe, it's so abstract and it's pretty much left up to anyone and anything can possess a stand. Alright, so that was today's video discussing what is a stand user. Please be sure to like this video if I fought your boredom and also subscribe for more. A quick update for everyone watching this video the day of or around the day after of it being uploaded. I apologize for there being a break of videos between Jojo Mist and now. It's been about three days or so, but I got sick on Christmas Day. And I, I just sounded like shit, man. I sounded horrible, so I, I really couldn't see the point in recording. So I spent those days just kind of relaxing, reading a lot, and also writing some scripts for videos. So hopefully soon here in the next couple days we can get back on track with, you know, daily and bi-daily videos. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick update for you guys if you guys were wondering where I've been. But I have a lot of videos planned, a lot of standoff episodes, a lot of stand explains, and just other miscellaneous videos. So other than that, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you all enjoyed. Now December